welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Alyssa Marie. Just in case you're new, super special welcome to you and I'm so glad you're here. Today I'm reviewing a black owned and female owned brand called Adjua. It is one of the newest black owned hair care brands at Sephora and I'm literally so hyped, so excited. I've been teasing that I've been like testing out their cream gel lately. So I have been playing around with that a little bit, but I didn't have any of their other products. So I actually did go to Sephora and purchase these myself. So I want to go ahead and do a full wash day with you guys to get to know the products and do a really nice demo and tutorial for you guys. Now I specifically wanted to do this review right now in the midst of all the Black Friday and Thanksgiving shopping madness because I wanted to remind you guys to please shop black wherever possible. Don't forget about the black owned brands, okay? If you follow me on Instagram or have subscribed to my emails on my website, you would have seen my newest blog post which lists over 85 brands that are dope brands and they're black owned and these are brands that you can definitely support this holiday season. So Adwa is one of them and I wanted to be able to give you guys like a first hand experience with the products. So yeah, let me stop talking now so we can go ahead and get started. All right, welcome to my shower. So I just wanted to discuss these products really quick because honestly, first, like off the bat, without even using the products, I have to say I freaking love this brand. Just off of like first impressions, what I'm noticing so far, I just, I mean, come on. Packaging, how sleek, how beautiful, contemporary. The black and white is just really beautiful and what I appreciate most about the packaging is they have this little blue blurb I struggle to say that, on every single product. So it says, no sulfates, no parabens, no DEA, no mineral oil, no petroleum, no propylene glycol, no synthetic colors, no phyllotates, no drying alcohols, no silicones, vegan, and cruelty free. An entire paragraph basically letting you know this is already 100% list approved in terms of the ingredients. So yeah, straight off the bat, take for packaging, love the name, and love the ingredients. So really today, the biggest test is going to be, are these actually gonna work for my curls? Do I really actually get good results from these products? So the products that I picked up are the Bauman Moisturizing Shampoo, the Bauman Deep Conditioning Treatment, the Bauman Leave-In Conditioning Styler, and the Bauman Moisturizing Curl Defining Gel. I won't lie, I have really high expectations. I've seen a lot of people say a lot of good things about this, so I'm really excited. We gotta get these curls popping. So right now I have my usual Olaplex treatment in my hair. You guys hear me talk about this all the time. So it's just the number zero and the number three. So yeah, just the treatment in my hair right now. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this out and then we can dive in to these Adra products. So it is called a Bao Mint Moisturizing Shampoo. So I'm legit like a little bit excited for some minty goodness. It does say that it has Baobab, wintergreen, spearmint, and peppermint oils in there. So if I don't feel the mintiness on my scalp, I'm gonna be a little sad, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Um, but honestly, I just love any wash day product to have mintiness in it. I mean, who doesn't love that good, delicious, tingly feeling in there? So it is a moisturizing shampoo, and off the bat, you can see the deliciousness in there. I mean, this is probably the most creamy, shampoo that I've ever seen. It looks like the consistency of a co-wash, honestly. Like a lightweight co-wash, you know? I'm just feeling creaminess. I wonder if this is gonna get sudsy. So I'm just focusing the shampoo mostly on my scalp. I don't usually directly put shampoo on the lengths of my hair. I kind of just let the shampoo kind of trickle down there naturally. So yeah, just directly focusing on the scalp. <sighs> wow, this feels really good. I will say that I'm not really feeling much of a tingle. It's a very subtle tingle. It's not like a crazy like, oh, you know, like those scalp scrubs that are just intense like it's not like that at all this is just a very very subtle tingle i will say the consistency of the shampoo does feel really good and it does get nice and sudsy i know for people who like shampoo they really like a good nice sudsy kind of shampoo so i can confirm it definitely gets pretty sudsy and it does again still have that really nice creamy feeling in my hair so far, so good. Oh, I think we forgot to talk about the scent. So the scent does smell a little bit pepperminty. This has potential to be a new favorite shampoo, honestly, because it is. it feels cleansing, feels a little bit minty, doesn't smell like overly fruity or overly fragrant, you know? I just, I'm kind of liking it. Let me see how my hair feels when we wash it out, though.
Okay, so I absolutely love the shampoo. The only thing about it, I feel like it was a little bit hard to rinse out all the suds. I felt like every time I rinsed out, I kept feeling like there were still more suds in there. But besides that, I really love it. I feel like it left my hair cleansed, but still just very soft and not feeling like overly stripped or like overly stressed and like begging me for conditioner, you know? It just feels really good. I don't know if, you know, that can come across on camera, but it just, it feels really good. It feels really soft and I love it, honestly, I do, I do. But even right now, I'm like, is there is there more suds in there? Like, I'm not sure if I was able to fully, like, actually wash this out. Like, I feel like in the middle here especially, you know what, I might have to rewash this out in sections. But yeah, besides that, I do really, really love this shampoo. But let me go ahead and just give it one more quick rinse. All right, so now let's get into the Bowman Deep Conditioning Treatment. I'm really excited to see what the consistency is like, so let's just jump straight in. Boom, she is thick. Do y'all see this? Y'all see this thickness? Yes, honey, I love, I love thick deep conditioners. You know, the type that don't really weigh down in curls but are still nice and thick and packed with the moisture and the nutrients that you need. Like, I love deep conditioners that are like this. It does have the same kind of pepperminty-ish kind of scent as the shampoo. So I'm seeing that the entire line kind of smells the same and I love the smell, honestly. I'm not mad at it at all. This also has the same wintergreen, spearmint, and peppermint oils as the shampoo as well. So let's just go ahead and dig in and see how this works in my curls as well. The number one thing that I'm looking for this to have is a really good amount of slip. You don't want a deep conditioner that is thick and nice and all but doesn't give you enough slip to really comb it through your curls so that is what I'm really hoping for here. The slip is there, okay? My hair is knotted, you can kind of tell. Not combed out and combed out very easily with the deep conditioner. Oh my gosh, and it feels so good and so silky in my curls. Like, I mean, you can already see the magic starting to happen. <laughs> Let's deal with the rest of this hair. Oh my God, my hair is so so knotted today. I think it was from my twist outs and yeah, I don't know. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The knots are real. Oh, but this is really helping me to get through it. I mean the slip. If I had to say on a scale of 10, like 10 being ultimate slip, this is 11. This is so good. I mean y'all saw the poof of knots that was once right here. No more honey, it is gliding right through. Yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really happy because I did have high hopes for this brand and so far, so freaking great. So what I'm also gonna do is what I normally like to do with my deep conditioner and that is to twist my hair. That way it stays detangled and will also help to encourage a little bit of curl definition. So I'm gonna go ahead and twist this section. All right, and then once it's fully twisted, I'm just gonna roll it up into a cute little bun. Boom, oh my God, this is so, ooh, this is so nice. I can already feel the magic. So I am actually starting to feel a really nice pepperminty kind of tingle. Ooh, feels so good. Wow, I wanna say that this is feeling a little bit more tingly than the shampoo. I don't know if it's because it's sitting in my hair maybe a little bit longer as I detangle this hot mess, but I am feeling the tingles, like especially right here in the bottom section that we applied first. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Honestly, the longer that it sits, the more tingly that it gets and the more happier I am. Honestly, this is so, this is very enjoyable. Very, very enjoyable for me. I honestly think that that is one of my favorite things about this entire line. I love the fact that they included that pepperminty, spearminty goodness in all of the products because it is making your girl so happy, it feels so good right now. So in the back of the bottle, it does say to leave this in for 15 minutes and it says for best results to use this under like a heated cap and normally I would, but today I feel like I don't have time to like come out of the shower and then come back to the shower, you know what I mean? So what I like to do instead on those days where I have a little bit less time is I'm gonna go ahead and just grab my regular regular old shower cap and just pop that on. And then basically we're gonna turn this shower into like a little steam room. So basically I'm going to pipe up the heat 
and I'm gonna finish all my body care. I'm gonna do body wash, I'm gonna do a body scrub, I'm gonna take my time and allow 15 minutes to pass while being in here in the hot steaming water. It's basically going to give you the same kind of effect because the steam is just is gonna do what it needs to do to open up your hair shaft and really get the deep conditioner to work on the next level. All right, so I'm back and I have started to take my hair out, but I wanted to show you guys like what we're looking like. It just feels so good, honestly, this feels like a little bit of a spa day for my curls. I feel the minty, I feel the softness, like, and it is just feeling so amazing. Oh my gosh, I feel like that's one thing I'm noticing from these products is that they are making my hair super, super soft. Honestly, if we're being real, I don't wanna wash it out yet because I'm not ready to get rid of the tingle. I'm not ready. Anyways, we gotta do this so we can get on into styling. So let me go ahead and rinse this out and I'm gonna be back to style in the shower. All right, it is time to get into styling. I'm really excited. So again, I have played around with the gel before, but I have not tried out their leave-in conditioner. Same deal, same wintergreen spearmint peppermint oils. It is their Baumint leave-in conditioning styler. This is meant to be just straight moisture. And so I'm really excited to use it in conjunction with the gel. So this is actually a cream gel, all right? Do you see what I mean? It is jelly, because it got that jiggle but it is also uh, very creamy once you kind of like, you know, rub the product together. I'm struggling to do this with one hand, but you get what I'm saying. Like it is a straight up cream gel. And now I've been saying that I've been noticing a lot of companies coming through with the cream gel. I feel like it's the latest like new thing to natural hair products. It literally also says that as you're styling your hair, continue to re-wet it with a spray bottle, which is what you guys normally see me do. But in this case, because I'm styling in the shower, I can just quickly like dunk my head under and re-wet it underneath the shower. So that's kind of why I decided to style this in the shower specifically. Anyways, let me stop talking so we can actually style and I'll show you. All right, so here is the consistency of the leave-in, which I'm loving because it is not super thick. I don't know if that's kind of looking a little bit thick on camera, but it's not. It kind of like rubs in. It's just, it's nice. It's not super thick, which is what I love for a leave-in styling product. I'm gonna focus this mostly on my ends because they get a little dry sometimes. All right, so now let's get into this gel. But before we do, I'm gonna go ahead, go into the shower, wet my section a little bit, you know. You see that? Sopping. That is actual sopping. All right, so now I'm gonna grab a nice clob of the cream gel. Now for cream gels, you wanna make sure that you spend some time breaking it down in your hand. You don't wanna apply the chunks of gel like directly to your hair. That's not really gonna do anything for you. And then boom, once it looks nice and creamy, no more chunks or anything, that's how you know it's ready to be applied. So this is one of those types of gels where as soon as you put it in, you can feel your curls starting to clump together, like immediately. You might add... Oh! No! Guys! No! Is this broken? Oh. Yeah, this is broken. Wow. Oh, this sucks so bad. I hate having to like squeeze this out. All right, so almost done. At the end, I always like to just kind of run through a little bit of extra gel right here at the front. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry a little bit. I might even diffuse just a little bit, a little mixture of air dry and diffuse. And then I'll meet you guys back here when my hair is fully dry so we can get into these final results. All right, so I am back and this is how my hair has basically dried. I did diffuse a little bit, like really quickly just to get it to stop dripping and then I just air dried the rest of the way. I was out on the road, I was outside and I'm actually pretty proud of how it looks. I was like a little bit worried that I was gonna experience a little bit of frizz due to humidity outside. I live in Atlanta, so y'all know how that is. But it, you know, it held up really well. I feel like we have a good amount of curl definition as well as a little bit of volume. The only thing is I do want a little bit more volume. And I will say my hair isn't fully dry. It's like 95% dry. So it's like basically dry apart from like a few like very teeny like spots right here in like towards my roots. So what I'm gonna do is grab my diffuser really quick and I am gonna use it not only to like finish drying out those spots that are taking a little bit longer, but also to kind of flip this up. I want a little bit more volume because I'm really happy with the level of definition for sure. But I think if we can add a little bit more volume, it's gonna be like the perfect wash and go for me. So 
let's do it. So I'm using my diffuser on the lowest heat setting and the lowest air blow setting. And then I'm also flipping my hair over to encourage additional volume. All right, so you see that just by a little bit of diffusing, we've got some additional volume going on and I love it. I love it. Y'all know I love me big, fluffy, happy curls. They're not frizzy, but curl defined, you know? All right, so when we have a super duper close look at my bang hairs, they look like they're experiencing a little bit of a frizz. I don't think maybe I got enough product there or what. I just wanted to point that out that like we aren't 100% frizz free anymore. It There definitely is a little bit, a little bit of frizz. But again, I'm not I'm not super mad at it at all. So yeah, final thoughts on Adra. I absolutely love it. I think that first of all, my scalp feels absolutely amazing from the wash day products with all the minty goodness. I honestly feel like it not only gave me a really good deep cleanse, but also helped to really soothe my scalp. My scalp just feels so good it just feels really balanced and just nice so i'm really happy with the way that my scalp feels i'm happy with the way that my curls came out like apart from a little bit of the frizz that i experienced in the front with my bangs besides that like i really i love the way my curls came out it didn't weigh it down my curls are still able to like fluff out even on day one get a little bit of volume and we still have some really great curl definition as well so i am overall really really happy with Adra, I mean, you guys saw from the beginning, I was like so super excited. There is also one more product that I did purchase, but obviously haven't tried in this video. So this is their Bauman Moisturizing Curl Defining Cream. So the next time I do my twist out, I'm definitely really excited to try this out. I just, ooh, everything about this brand is just so sick. You can tell that these products are just made for us, type three, type four girls, I love it. So I'm really, really happy, really excited, and I definitely 10 out of 10 and recommend and it's black owned and female owned and that just makes me so happy and so excited yes I know the products are a little bit more on the pricey side I would say mid to high range but I definitely feel like they're worth it so thank you guys so much for watching as usual all the links if you want to go ahead and shop I have linked them in the description box below if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give your girl a little thumbs up and if you are new please do consider hitting that subscribe button all right that way you will never miss a new upload ever again I will catch you in the next one bye